kuwa mgombezi mmoja katika wale waliokuwa nangania watifa wa rais na kama mnavojua uh, katika kitengo cha azimio uh, tumefika sisi wana madhehebu mbalimbali kwa ajili ya kusali na yeye nyumbani kwake tumetumia muda mwingi kuomba kujisikiza tunaonaje na tunajisikiaje na pia tumetambua kwamba eh, ni mtu mwenye moyo mgumu na sio mgumu moyo uh, wa wa tuiteje ni moyo mwema kutamani nchi hii endelee na amani endelee na haki na zaidi wapigia kura tuliopiga kura tuna kwamba eh, tujue ukweli wa mambo je haki mambo yaliendaje ukweli uliendaje Um, tukiwepo hapa tumeunganika na washikadau wa uh, madhehebu mbalimbali Anglicans, Muslims, EAK, uh, ndugu zetu wa familia hii na pia uh, washikadau mbalimbali ambao wanaandamana na uh, na Right Honorable uh, Raila Odinga. Tuashukuru sana mama mama Ida kwa kutukaribisha Tashukuru sana kwa kwamba tumeweza kusali hata mwishoni tukasali kwa ajili ya mahitaji ya nchi hii na hata nchi nzima na kwamba eh, jukumu kubwa ambalo liko kwa IEBC liweze kukabilika na kujua ukweli walivyoutangaza kama wakienda kotini na wao wenyewe wana hakika eh, eh, wakipata ukweli wako sawa na wanashukuru Mwishoni kabisa tupenda sisi kama uh, wote tunao shiriki madhehebu mbalimbali jina langu ni askofu mkuu Martin Kivuva Musonde nikiwa mwenyekiti katika baraza la maaskofu wa Katoliki wa Kenya na pia nikiwa ni mwenyekiti au ni mwenye eh, ni askofu mkuu wa Jimbo Katoliki la Mombasa kwamba sote watu wasema jamani tunapotetea amani na haki pia tuwe was, na subra ya kwamba ukweli uweze kuonekana wakiamua kwenda kotini tunawapa nafasi na kweli tuengoje kwa utulivu tusianze kuchokorana bali tufuatilizie kama tulivyoyasikia nampisha mwenzangu na baadaye tutampa right honorable aliyeongea ya mawili nampisha mwenzangu askofu eh, al sapit uh, briefly we are here today as a fraternity of uh, our various faiths in the country, the Christians and the Muslims uh, in our ma various formations, uh, having come to this home of uh, Right Honorable uh, Raila Odinga uh, and his family to provide our pastoral care to the family. And I want to affirm that this family belongs to the Anglican Church. I know there has been many people doubting where do they worship uh, and we are here as his pastors and the fraternity of the people of faith uh, to come and do pastoral care and visit and pray with them and uh, we have had an opportunity to interact uh, looking at what has happened in our country and uh, we have uh, uh, been assured uh, and uh, the country is at peace because of their performance uh, in terms of advising the electorate that we need a peaceful country and we can affirm that uh, this family is a family that stands for peace together with us and his team they have uh, decided to pursue truth and justice through the legal systems of the court which is what we have been uh, advocating and crying for that instead of people going to the streets in kenya let us pursue to have our democracy uh, in a way that we all know what happened and what transpired and we want to continue to encourage anybody looking for truth and uh, for justice to pursue it through legal means and that is exactly what is going to happen so we want to urge kenyans let us all be patient as uh, that path is being pursued to protect our nation and our democracy and our country for posterity for this generation and generations to come so ours today is to visit this family we have visited uh, our other uh, political players in the country and will continue to reach out to everybody because we have a pastoral duty to every leader in this nation uh, and to each one of us 
and that is a duty of the religious leaders to uphold our nation together and uphold the nation Kenya. Not for us uh, in this generation, but for, for posterity as well. May God bless us, may God bless Kenya. Asante Nisana. Tutamuomba, uh, right honorable, to, to see where tunamsemea anafahamu. Na pia kumpongeza kwa kutualika, na pia kwa yale ya tushirikisha katika familia yake, tunamuombea mema na mazuri, the fatherly, right honorable. Shukran sana. Mimi nataka kutoa uh, shukran kwetu sisi kama jamii hapa na wanazimio kwa wale viongozi wa kanisa na hata viongozi wa islamu kuamua kuja kutembelea sisi vile vile kutongea na viongozi wengine wa taifa letu juu ya yale ambayo yametendeka katika nchi yetu vile vile kuombea amani katika taifa letu sisi tumesema tunataka kuona kama haki inatendeka ndio amani ipatikane tumwambia vile marehemu askofu Desmond Tutu alisema ati bila ukweli hakuwezi kuwa na amani vile 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 bila amani hakuwezi kuwa na uh, upatanishi. Kwa hivyo tumesema tunataka kujua ukweli iko wapi yale ambayo yametendeka katika nchi yetu ilikuwa ni mambo ya kushangaza. Imeshika piga watu wengi na bumbuazi. Na watu wengi wako katika hali ya uzuni mpaka siku ya leo. Ni kweli kuna wengine wachache ambao vile vile wana furaha kumsherekea. Hiyo ni haki ya kidemokrasia. Sisi tunajiuliza tu na nimewaeleza ati mimi ni kama yule mwenye riadha mwana riadha ambaye alienda kukimbia na tumekimbia na mpaka tukafika mwisho ambaye kwa kimombe inaitwa photo finish sasa naona wale marifiri ambao walikuwa pale mwa yingine nasema fulani ameshinda yingine nasema fulani ameshinda sasa haijulikani na hii kitu inaweza kufanyika tu hapa kwetu Kenya. Maana yake kama wale ambao walipewa jukumu ya kusimamia uchaguzi wa taifa letu wanaweza kufanya maneno ile ya aibu vile ilivyofanyika. Naonyesha kwamba demokrasia yetu bado yuko mbali sana. Aa, na kwa wakati huu hata kuna mtu ambaye angefurahia ati kuna mshindi. Naona wengine wanasema ati yo ati rais elect kama kuna wale wa watu wa watume ya uchaguzi ambao ni watu saba atujasikia maoni yao kwa, kwa kijumla hii maneno ya kuaibisha katika ulimwengu mzimbele ya ulimwengu mzima lakini tumesema sisi hatutaki kuona fujo au vurugu katika taifa letu nataka kuona amani ikidumu katika taifa letu ndio sababu tumeamua kutumia sheria na kuenda katika kwenye mbele mahakama kuu ili tupeleke ushahidi ambayo tuko nazo ya kuonyesha kwamba ilikuwa ni mzaha haikuwa ni uchaguzi tunataka kufanya hii kutetea demokrasia ya taifa letu ambayo watu wengi walipigania wengine walikufa wakipigania demokrasia katika taifa letu tunafikiri ni jukumu letu sisi ambao tumebaki nyuma kuhakikisha kwamba hii hatua ambayo imefanyika hapa isituredushe sisi nyuma kule tulikotoka kama wa Kenya nataka kuendelea mbele nataka shukrani sana kwa viongozi wa, uh, wa, wa dini kwa uamuzi yao na kwa kazi ambayo wanafanya na mimi na hakika ya kwamba Kenya itafaulu na mwishowe tutaweza kupata raha na ustawi katika taifa letu. We wind up with a prayer and I think all of us again we came to exactly pray. Uh, we may say a different one and this one we did already pray about peace. This one is about we are asking the Holy Spirit to guide us.
to guide our nation, to guide those who are near and dear to us. There's an English and Swahili. Um, uh, we are doing the English version of the Synod prayer. Our country has been praying, especially the Catholic Church, and all of us have been praying. One prayer that has embraces our aspirations and our concerns is a guidance, and especially today we are talking about guiding, of course, the people's consciences that they do the right things, they act according to um, God's dictates, and we pray together this synod prayer. Actually, for us Catholics, we know it, came, it embraces everybody and every person. And then after that, I'll ask the Muslim uh, brother here to finalize with a Muslim prayer. We can stand. We stand kindly. So the prayer sounds, we are saying we stand. Okay. Okay. We stand before you, Holy Spirit. As we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us, make yourself at home with our hearts, teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partially influence our actions. Let us find you and our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not to stray from the way of truth what is right. All this we ask of you who are the work in every place and time in the communion of the Father and the Son and the Holy and forever. Amen. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. O oh Lord, help us to overcome mischief of those who made her plans to cause violence against others. Practice hate and spread disorder. We seek your protection, Ya Rabbi. O oh Allah, make Kenya safe and reassuring and protect us from mischief, Ya Rabbi. O oh Allah, oh Allah, you are peace and from, pe and from peace comes you. Blessed are you, O oh honor of majesty and honor. Allahumma and the salam. Wa minga salam. Tabarak daman dal yaladu wa likram. Wa sallallahu wa la sayyidina Muhammad wa la ali wa sabi ajma'in. Amin. Amen. E mungu ngu po yetu Lile tre baraka kwetu Haki iwe nga o nam linzi Natukai na unugu amani na uhuru Raha tupate na usawi May Almighty God bless our nation, bless us all wherever you are and wherever we are. Bless this home we have visited today. Bless the nation that are in trouble and challenged by war and division. And most of Lord, bless our families, our young people who have just started going to school. May bless, Almighty God bless us. I invite the bishop to bless the country in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Sorry? <laughs> Tell him to get some prayers. Sorry? Prayers written for the Muslims. Bring it. I'll show you. This is what I asked them yesterday. Everybody carries it within the home. Yes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>